Hello and welcome back students. I am back with chapter number 4 that is nouns. So let's start. Let's read the starter. Look at the picture carefully. Okay, we have given some picture. We have given a picture. So what we have to do? We have to look at this picture. Look at this picture carefully. Next, now write down the name under the correct headings. So, we have given four boxes in which we have to write down the particular names as per the given. So, person, places, things, animals. Okay, students, let's do part A. Look at the pictures and read the sentence. On the first, the girl is swinging. The dog is barking. My uncle lives in Mumbai. He has a red ball. He has a red ball. In sentence 1, the word girl is the name of person. In, in sentence 2, the word dog is the name of an animal. In sentence 3, Mumbai is the name of a place. In sentence 4, ball is the name of a thing. Names of people, places, animals and things are called naming words. Naming words are also called noun. Okay, students, moving down, let's read part B. Okay, now we have more examples of nouns. Person, boy, girl, mother, father, son, daughter, teacher, doctor, etc. Places, home, school, church, park, park, city, etc. Things, bat, bag, ball, watch, balloon. TV, camera, etc. Animals, cat, tiger, dog, elephant, lion, zebra, deer, etc. Okay students, it's time for part C. Look at the pictures and fill in the blanks with suitable naming words given below. So students, in the picture one, you can see an elephant and a ball. So the elephant is playing with a ball. In the picture one, you can see an elephant or a ball so the elephant is a play the elephant is playing with a ball in the second in the second picture we have given a picture of dog eating a bone so the dog is eating a bone in the next the aeroplane is flying in the sky on fourth the boys are playing in the park okay students the teacher is teaching in the classroom fine Okay, on 6th, there is a book on the table. On the next, the girl is eating an apple and you should also eat an apple. Daily, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Next, a cow lives in a shed. Now, let me ask you one oral question. What is compound noun? Okay, students, let's move to part D. Students, we have given so many pictures and we have to write the names. The first picture shows a doctor. Next pic the next picture shows market. The next dog. The next lion. Then clock. Then park. And park. After then that temple. Then teacher. Next we have mobile. Next girl. Next school. Next ball. Okay, students, let's know a new. Okay, students, let's learn a new thing. Did you know the word noun comes from Latin words nomen? That means name. Okay, students, on behalf of the pictures and the name we have given, we have given for boxes, person, places, things, and animals, and you have to put them accordingly in the boxes. Moving towards parts E. Circle the word in each group that is not a naming word. One has been done for you. On Mars, planets, moon, watch. And we got that watch has been circled in. So, next, theater, stadium, run, park. And you know what we have to circle here? Of course, run. Next, we have, next we have eat, lamp, cushion, table. And what we will circle here? Eat. Next, we have towel, shampoo, sink, soap. And what we will circle here? Sink. Next, we have pillow, bring, bed, 
blanket and what we will circle here bring because bring is a verb okay students it's time to do some activity and you well know that activity is something you have to do now it's time to say tada bye bye and i promise i'll come in the next lecture with interesting topic and important learnings until then enjoy have fun and don't forget to revise the chapter thank you